You may want to stay extra vigilant the next time you head out to the Lake Erie Islands. Good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. And I'm Lee Jordan. Tonight, the Sheriff's Department has confirmed that they are getting in more reports about drinks possibly being drugged in Putin Bay. And one case may go to court. Five on your side investigator Sarah Buttison went out to the island to show us what's being done to keep visitors safe. It's a quiet, beautiful, and peaceful day here on the island, but we have learned that at least eight women have reported to Putin Bay police that they were drugged while visiting this summer. The victims are saying that they feel that they were more intoxicated than they should have been for what the amount of alcohol that they believe they they drank that day. Ottawa County Sheriff's Detective Amanda Cross is investigating the handful of cases where women report they believe they were both raped and drugged. That includes one case where a bartender at a popular bar allegedly raped and drugged a young woman. The case will go to a grand jury at the end of August. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Department is concerned about the reports and they are encouraging businesses to post these signs around the island to raise awareness about the dangers of date rape drugs. Just be observant of your surroundings. Um, don't accept drinks from people that you don't know. Uh, don't be afraid to ask the bartenders what's being put into your drink if you don't know what they're putting in there. Um, and the most important thing is if you feel that you have been violated in some way is that you report it right away. Another reason it is important to report immediately, right now there is no confirmation that date rape drugs were actually used in any of these cases. They leave your system within 12 hours and many of the victims waited to report until a few days after the incidents happened. In Putin Bay, I'm Investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5. Law enforcement officers have also conducted operations and surveillance on the island to try to find out who is responsible, but so far have not turned up any evidence or suspects.